Hi, my name is Sam, and in this demo I'm going to show you how to take an analog input measurement using a USB X-Series multifunction DAC device. So this is a multifunction device, which means that it has analog, digital, and counter circuitry. But for this demo, I'm going to show you one of the most common types of measurements, which is an analog input. So if we come over here to my demo setup, I have a USB X-Series DAC device, and I have a sensor connected to it. So what I have here is an eddy current sensor. And what you can see here is the probe tip. What this is going to do is measure the distance between the probe tip to a piece of metal. And it's going to output a voltage from uh, 0 to 10 volts. So this is one of many sensors that's conditioned to give this type of voltage. There are other ones like flow and pressure meters. So now let's switch over to LabVIEW, and I'll show you how to bring the data into a computer. So on LabVIEW, we have the front panel and the block diagram. And what I'm going to do first is, on the block diagram, select Input and DAC Assistant. The DAC Assistant is a step-by-step, dialogue-based wizard which helps you to acquire and generate signals. I'm doing an acquisition, so I'm going to acquire signals, analog input, and voltage. It's going to show me the list of available channels, and I have the sensor connected to channel 0. So I'll select that and press Finish. And in this dialog window, I can configure what I expect the voltage to be and whether I want this to be a finite or continuous acquisition. So I'm going to select Continuous, and the rate of 1,000 samples per second is great. And then I'm going to go to the Logging tab. Select Enable TDMS Logging, and then I'm going to tell it where to log the data. So the desktop is just fine, and then I'm going to type in distance, and this is a TDMS measurement file. So everything looks good, and I'll click OK. So the DAC Assistant is going to, in the background, script out all the code needed to acquire this data and log it to disk. So it'll build this VI, and then once it's done, it's going to ask me, do I want to put this into a loop? And I'll say yes, because this is a continuous task. All I need to do now is come up with a way to display this data. So I'll right click on its output, and I'll select Graph Indicator. And I can uh, customize this graph on the front panel. So I know it's going to be between 0 and 10 volts. So I'll say 0, 10 volts, and I can go ahead and run it. So now I'll move back over to current probe. And as you can see, as I get closer, the voltage dips. And as I get further away, the voltage climbs. So I've logged a few seconds of data. So I'll go ahead and stop it. And now to view the data, I'll go to my desktop, where I've saved it. And I'll open up distance.tdms. So one of the new pieces of functionality is with TDMS files, by default, when you open them, they open up in Microsoft Excel. You can also read them in LabVIEW and other environments. So I'll simply go over to Group Name. And what you can see here is a collection of all the voltage readings from my current probe, my eddy current probe. And so that's how you take an analog input reading with USB X-Series devices and LabVIEW.